here is Kof Prince. He has started the conference with a bunch of Leroy picks at 17 times and a 29% win rate, but he has brought out once the Brian and three times the Steve Fox that he is known for. Mm -hmm. That that Steve was pretty much uh, pretty much vintage the last time he picked it out, but now the, the last time they faced off against each other, Ika pulled out that Yoshimitsu. Yoshimitsu with a 100% win rate, 2-0 against <laughs> Coffee Princess, Leroy, and Brian. And Pika did say how to fight against a Leroy. He'll he'll use his most unconventional, unconventional character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely unconventional. Definitely unconventional, and uh, the success rate, uh, the 100% success rate, is definitely with uh, Coffee Prince. So he has beaten, uh, confused Coffee Prince completely with this character. Baffled, he Coffee Prince even made the switch to Brian Fury. That um, he actually made the switch to Brian Fury to be a little bit more comfortable with the mm -hmm. matchup, but still was unable to perform against the Yoshimitsu that Pika presented to him. And. Once again, this is also why uh, when it comes to pointing out a little bit of Nationals lore, when Dojin wanted to play Yoshimitsu, he actually contacted Pika on a, on a few tips and tricks on how to do that. And you can see why he had to, he contacted Pika for that. Pika knows this character. Uh, Pika is known to love them, peculiar characters, the characters that aren't usually picked. Uh, the, the unpo you can say unpopular ones, though they do have their own followings. So. Mm -hmm. Perhaps the Yoshimitsu will be coming out considering the success that it did have on Coffee mm. Prince. But you know Coffee Prince, he definitely did not like how it turned out the last time. So he, he definitely researched the matchup and he should know how to deal with this character now. Yes, definitely. I am pretty sure he's been reviewing tapes and tapes. They have a lot of, uh, they have a lot of work aside from just playing here. They have a lot of practice and that's, I'm pretty sure Coffee Prince has been checking out what he did wrong against Pika the last time, how he what he did right, and he's probably going to take advantage of that. Because once again, Coffee Prince is not to be underestimated at all. And now here are our players, Coffee Prince, <laughs> looking serious. And so is Pika. There, no greetings to the cameras as per usual. Mm, not quite yet. There is a small greeting from Ooh. Coffee Prince, but still maintaining that ever so serious look. Uh, Pika, of course, giving a bit of fan service from the camera, giving that heart, showing a little bit of love. Uh, he's still hot from his previous match, so you know that even though he is smiling, he's still burning up on the inside because he wants, uh, he wants to once again uh, give a loss to Coffee Prince. Oh, definitely, and once again, determination—the uh, determination from here is just being turned up. The volume was already really loud against Rock and Roll, so let's see what he's gonna do with Coffee Prince. He's gonna crash the cafe and change change the playlist altogether from chill lo-fi beats. The pure, unadulterated speed metal. Mm, drop that royalty to the commoner status. You know, just um, no longer a coffee prince. But who knows? Maybe this will be the win that coffee prince needs to actually be the coffee king in the end. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll we'll see. Uh, I, I definitely want to see more of the uh, when it comes to coffee prince's picks. Maybe he's finally going to bring out the Steve Fox because he did refuse to bring it out when he faced off against mm -hmm. Pika. Uh, he was using Leroy Smith, which which was proving a little bit shaky at the start of the conference, and then suddenly, sabi niya, hmm, di gagana. it's not gonna work against the Shoshimitsu. Let's switch to something else, but I'll still hold off on the Steve Fox. I'm gonna go for Brian Fury, but it still did not work out. Maybe lalabas ni Steve Fox. Oh, nope. it's a run back. <laughs> it's a it's replay. A <laughs> Let's go. I've seen this movie before. Maybe maybe it's a it's a different cut. You know, it's a it's a different director with a different version, and the story is gonna play out completely differently, just like it did in the earlier match. So let's see Leroy Smith once again in the hands of Steve Fox against the Yoshimitsu of Smart Omegas. Pika. Wait, wait, Leroy Smith on Coffee Prince, and then Yoshimitsu on Pika. Yep, definitely. But immediately, Coffee Prince going for that punish against the low sweep. He smelled it from a mile away. This seemed like the start too from their previous uh, from their previous encounter, and now Pika already one pixel away from rage. But once again, oh my goodness, Coffee Prince is activating. Yes, yeah, seven golden letters, not letting Pika use any of those shenanigans that Yoshimitsu is known for, because it is, uh, it is that is the case. Because once you get caught in the face of Yoshimitsu, you're uh, you're in a, you're in a lot of trouble. You have to escape uh, the mysterious playstyle that Pika brings with this character. Yep. You don't want to fall for those yo shenanigans, but 
Pika's actually pulling off those Yoshi shenanigans, the like Kinsho stances and whatnot. Coffee mm. Prince so far is really respecting that kind of gameplay, mm -hmm. but both of them now are at equal health, and Pika looking for that whiff and good punish there. Good duck into the launch and should be able to close it out. He does, and it's one round apiece. Uh, Coffee Prince, you can see in his gameplay, actually, he does not want Pika to have any... Uh, any chance to seize the momentum and the rhythm of the game. He wants to keep the offense going and try to shut out what Pika wants to do. But uh, with the with the movement that Pika is showing and displaying in this match, he he's managing to get those legs in against Coffee Prince, and he does have the life advantage. Putting Coffee Prince in the red as well. Oh no! Last chance. Oh, good job oh. from Pika with that follow up. Takes a second round immediately uh, in the third. Good stuff there from Pika. And now Coffee Prince looking for more ways to smother Pika. But so far, Pika's being allowed to party, being allowed to pull out the Yoshi shenanigans. And what, here it is, the Hermit stance. Good parry here from Coffee Prince. Orbital, Ooh. this might be the start of his comeback. Mm, but not quite because he drops the combo. Unfortunate for Coffee Prince. Pika gets the stun, should be able to push towards the wall. He does. What's he going to do? He wants the flash, but Coffee Prince does not fall for it. Takes his time. Ooh, that was a that was a Harakiri attempt from Pika, but of course cancels it a little bit unsure of the angle, especially at the sidewall. That's very dangerous. He both fish in the red. Coffee Prince burns the rage drive. 20 seconds left on the clock. Pika trying to make some space. There's the power crush. Oh. The hell sweep comes out. 15 seconds left. And Pika still trying to make space. But Coffee Prince with that quick low. The range on Leroy Smith shows. And now it's down to the final round. And now it's getting much, much closer than the last time they faced off against each other, and it's already really exciting. But so far, Pika trying to dictate the pace, but Coffee Prince really, really making sure that that doesn't happen. In show stance, there it is, the, the down jab to make sure that Pika doesn't get to press. Mm -hmm. Immediately, oh my goodness, a good launch. Good launch indeed, but he does drop the combo. Both of these players a little bit shaky on their footing here in this match. They're pretty, they're pretty nervous. It's a pretty important match between these two, and they're trying to make uh, the future. Uh, they're trying to make it happen the same way that Pika wants that three. Oh, and he's gonna get that first round with that helicopter grab. Good first win immediately, and this is how it happened in the first, uh, in the in their first encounter here in the conference actually, uh, oh, with Pika with the first win. Mm. Oh, definitely. Pika with the first win. He used the helicopter grab a lot. Mm -hmm. I think he only used it like once or twice here in, in comparison to the previous time. And there's actually a lot of those slides, a lot of those Kinsho mix-ups, and hardly any usage of the flash. Mm -hmm. We were actually expecting him to use the flash a bit more from here. But hey. once again, he didn't really get to, he didn't get to use it or at least get the opportunity to. Because Coffee Prince was really, really trying to make sure that Pika doesn't get any funny ideas. Mm. He's not playing very, what do you call it, uh, predictable that Pika mm. can just throw out the flash willy-nilly. We saw the flash come out like once right next to the wall and then Pika mm. realized, hmm, I don't have the rhythm of Coffee Prince just yet. I don't have the rhythm of So it's pretty dangerous if you, if you use flash and the opponent is ready for it, you can pay for it with a huge chunk of your health bar. So we saw Pika mm. not quite going for it. We almost saw a Harakiri set up from Pika though, oh, so yeah. that was an interesting <laughs> attempt. <laughs> oh, definitely. That was that was definitely something for the eyes right there. And I was thinking I was thinking that might have been the case, but Coffee Prince had the awareness. He moved out of the way, so Pika mm -hmm. really reacted reacted accordingly, or at least that's what it looked like from there. And at the very at the very least, it looked it looked like it was such a close match. So I'm thinking. Coffee might still stick with the Leroy from here because it looks it looked much better than their previous encounter. Mm -hmm. it, it certainly did, and uh, he has the right idea uh, when it comes to stopping Yoshimitsu. And I think compared mm -hmm. to Brian Fury, uh, Leroy definitely has the better tools to make that happen. And we can see that every time that uh, Coffee, uh, every time that Pika actually starts uh, to wiggle around with Yoshimitsu. He wants to engage with the, with the different moves and the confusion that Yoshimitsu is able to dispense. Uh, Coffee Prince immediately tries his best to put a stop to it. Maybe a crouch jab here, a quick low, and try, or try to maneuver out of the situation uh, in the matchup. So Coffee Prince has the right idea. I think he may actually stick to the Leroy Smith and try to just make it work a little bit better this time. Just a little bit, just a little bit extra. Just a little bit. Mm. That extra stink, that little extra stink that you put in your mustard, will probably will probably be the key to 
a win and a loss. The difference between a win and a loss, I mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it certainly seems to be the case this time. That like the lang ng onte, just a little bit more, uh, a little bit more strategy here with his uh, Leroy Smith. Maybe make better choices in some situations and completely stop Ika at all times. Try to maintain the offense of it on his side. Then that should work out in favor of Coffee Prince. But let's see if Pika can actually still make the Yoshinanigans come out. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see so far, because Coffee Prince is dictating the pace from here. But once again, Pika trying to trying to steal it all the way back, and he gets that launcher. Coffee Prince is going to be near the wall, but not fully splatted. Mm-hmm. Coffee Prince takes it all the way back, though. The Fighting Dragon out of the air, and Pika actually gets that counter hit as well. He's, Coffee Prince not quite going to fall for it. Good roll over to the side. Patience from Coffee Prince. He has the damage. Both of these players are in the red. 30 seconds left on the clock. Plenty of time. Burns the Rage Drive immediately as Coffee Prince wants the space. Oh, oh my goodness! Not too far for a punish from Coffee Prince here, and Pika is still alive. But that long leg of Leroy Smith once again takes a round for Coffee Prince. Good stuff from Coffee Prince. Now he's slowly getting the rhythm of Pika, but Pika, on the other hand, can easily change that rhythm as he immediately puts Coffee Prince in a disadvantageous position. There's a balcony break waiting to happen, but so far, Coffee Prince trying to push back. Hermit stance, there it is. It's the spin from Pika trying to sidestep away. That spin from Yoshimitsu, it's so invasive and can get, just get Yoshimitsu out of the trickiest situations. Even the stance mix-ups that Leroy Smith does have. So that is something that Coffee Prince has to be careful of. He does not want to throw anything carelessly. And there are the blades coming out Ooh. from Pika and the first round going to him. One apiece between the two of them. And now it's just such a back and forth between between them. There's a lot of respect between the way they play. And Coffee Prince now trying to activate with Pika, <laughs> using that evasive sidestep once again. It's good stuff from him, but the helicopter gets interrupted midway through. Such a good mobility tool for Yoshimitsu, but it does come uh, with a bit of a penalty on him because he does lose some health when he spins. Pika does get the, uh, is going to be returning the lost health, however, because he gets this mini combo and should be able to deal some serious damage. The balcony break is behind Coffee Prince, and Pika is trying to push him towards that corner and take advantage of the environment in this stage. Oh, oh, goodness gracious. Good punish here from Coffee Prince. Pika might be in trouble. There's still a little bit of health left from here. Pika does have rage. So let's see what he's going to do from here. And this might be the round stealer. Oh, this might just be it. He's going to get the balcony. Not quite. A little bit too far. Oh! oh spring kick from Coffee Prince takes away that round. And now Pika is one round away from losing this match. Coffee Prince wants that 1 1 in this set. Security was pretty strong there for Coffee Prince. Now Pika trying to trying to get back that money that was stolen from him. And now sliding once again. He's utilizing it a lot this round. But here, Coffee Prince tries to interrupt. He gets put he gets put into rage, and Pika now has a life lead. Last chance for Coffee Prince. One hit tries to knock him out of the air. The orbital comes out and the quick Ooh. right kick. It's a quick mid. Pika just keeps out Coffee Prince, and now we're down to the final round. Last chance for Coffee Prince to bring the fight. Pika, he does get the one-inch punch, the counter hit, the combo all the way to the wall, biting dragons coming in, bam, 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 and immediately half health gone for Pika. That's big stuff from him. The health sweep here coming in from Coffee Prince. Pika is in trouble. Yes, as you said, there's the rage, but he still has the opportunity to steal the round from here on out. But Coffee Prince trying to prevent that. The security is really strong. And once again, he gets that 1-1. One, one and gives Pika his first loss on Yoshimitsu. Mm, in a, tar- a, a little bit of a stain on that Yoshimitsu record there with the win from Coffee Prince. Is Coffee Prince going to be able to completely mess up that record with another win later on? But we'll just have to see. Uh, maybe, maybe we actually won't get to see Yoshimitsu again considering that this loss did happen. But this might again, be the, yeah. this, hmm. I think this might be the, what do you call this? Uh, how do I describe it? Some sort of overload. We've already seen the Yoshimitsu. It's some sort of... Uh, some sort of presence overload. We already know the presence of Yoshimitsu. Coffee Prince has seen it multiple times, and now he's he's got to he got to find the rhythm. He got to find the the way Pika plays it. And now I think yeah, as I as you said, I think it's time for Pika to might possibly change. Mm-hmm. Then again, uh, it could be a change. I think there's a huge chance that Pika is definitely going to change characters. Pero nakita naman natin dun sa laban. It was super close. It, w- it was down to the final round, the first match and the second match as well. So, uh, and just the, the same way that Coffee Prince, Coffee Prince managed to bounce back for the second game, uh, mm-hmm. Pika can do the exact same thing. He can adjust the Yoshimitsu gameplay and uh, get the win against Coffee Prince. But 
yeah, there is a very good chance nga talaga that he's gonna step away from the Yoshimitsu, go for someone a little bit more appropriate against Lee Ray Smith. Hmm. Kasi if we th- if we look at it, um, there's a aside from the fact na aside from the fact that it might be downloaded na, hmm. there's also the fact na my character advantage ka naman. You have the chance to switch characters, switch up your game plan. Yung nasa utak ni ano ni Coffee Prince ngayon is still the Yoshimitsu, so his game plan is gonna be hovering towards the Yoshimitsu. So, di natin alam anong gagawin niya dito. Now that I think about it though, uh, Rafiki, uh, there's, a, uh, there's a reason for Pika not to switch out because yung spin nga ni Yoshimitsu actually allows him to get out of the Hermit Stance mix-ups. So maybe he I will know. keep it? He will! I think that's the idea. It simply eliminates mm-hmm. such a huge part of Leroy's gameplay if you take away those mix-ups from Hermit Stance. So Yoshimitsu uh, is definitely a good pick nga para kay Pika. You pay life to say no, basically. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a good trade. It's a good trade, actually. Yeah, it is. It is, and it it paid off. Uh, it paid off multiple. It paid, paid off a lot. So I know, so, uh, it's the first time they faced off against each other. But now Coffee Prince now gets the rhythm a little bit, and you mm. can see you can see how that sidestep is super important for Pika. He he tries to spin away, but of course Leroy does have that uh, what do you call it the homing low from Hermit Stance, uh, but. Uh, that's going to be deterring Pika from actually spinning out of the Hermit stance. Oh no! Maybe not. Oh, Pika in trouble. Coffee Prince getting getting that round. And so far, Coffee Prince, the aggression is really turned on, and he's trying to prevent Pika from from doing any more damage than he should. Mm-hmm. Uh, he it, it was working out for Coffee Prince definitely, but uh, and Coffee Prince with with his back towards the wall, he is in a very dangerous position. He is fighting back though, all the way back to center stage. Both players with almost equal health and plenty of time left on the clock. Pika trying to make the advance. There's the slide coming in. Goes for the kin show. So Coffee Prince with the maneuvers, the moves, getting Pika on the side of the wall this time around. 30 seconds left on the clock with almost equal health. Beautiful block, Ooh. but bad punch from Coffee Prince there. The hell sweep comes out and Pika is in the red. Last chance for him in this round and another foot sweep from Leroy Smith. Coffee Prince not stopping with the offense. Oh, he's slowly getting into the rhythm against Pika and that Hermit Sands. Once again, the mix up was being used and he's really trying to get that timing right. And so far, the spacing and the spacing and the punishment from Coffee Prince has been on point. Mm. As well as the movement as well, he he does not want to be in the dangerous positions when it comes to Yoshimitsu because you're already going to be thinking about what Yoshimitsu is going to do. You don't want to be thinking about where you are as well. But Coffee Prince is not letting that happen. The offense is continuing. Pika is unfazed, however. He keeps going with his own offense. Unblockable oh! comes out. And Coffee Prince almost in the red. Goes for the quick low. Pika trying to find the kill here. He wants at least one round for now. Burns the rage drive is Coffee Prince. 20 seconds left. What's Pika going to do, Fiki? Oh. oh my goodness, Coffee Prince trying to go for those Hermit stats. He still has a lot of health left. One pixel away from Rage. This oh. is dangerous. Good stuff from Pika and good spacing. And now he still has signs of life. This is really, really great Matt. Second right here. Mm-hmm. On the fly adjustment from Smart Omega Pika. That is exactly what you need as a, to be a great player. You need to know how to adapt to whatever your opponent is doing. And you see, I'm finished na action talaga dito. Pika gets the knockdown. Coffee Prince immediately in the red. Last chance and we're down to the final round. Coffee Prince against Pika. Those Kinsho stance mix-ups really paid off that round. And I think Pika is going to utilize that a little bit more from here. He's already <laughs> going into Kinsho stance. And Coffee Prince in a lot of trouble because that's another layer of mix-up that you have to deal with. Yeah, Coffee Prince uh, struggling to actually enforce his own mix-ups here. Falling into the face of Pika and Pika is on a roll. Bringing Coffee Prince to the wall, misses the extension though and puts himself in a bad position. But Pika still unfazed, trying to back away. Just create some space to breathe. Uh, trying to weather the storm that Coffee Prince is trying to make this. Oh! Unblockable! The bane of Coffee Prince ducks the, the helicopter throw Pika. Uh, he is in a very good spot. Coffee Prince though is in precarious position. Another low! Is there a punish? Yes, there is. Last chance for Coffee Prince breaks out. Oh! That is gonna be serious damage. Can he finish it though? There's a hell oh! and a win for Coffee Prince. Such a clutch match. Good patience of mind from Coffee Prince. Identifying that the combo is not gonna work out. Goes for the hell sweep while Pika was busy trying to figure out what to do next. Amazing work.